Guys, this is Demon. Gonna be breaking down my biggest musical influences for you today. And the first one is Kurt Cobain. The reason I picked Kurt at number one was because if you listen to his music and the type of message that he gives you and just how illustrative he is, uh, it'll blow you away. He's one of the best songwriters ever. Um, and just, I like the, 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 the grunt or the gruff of his voice. And uh, I, I do that when I rap, and I did that before I, before I knew of Nirvana and really got into him. But I finally have been able to get that kind of gruff sound into my voice, and I love the way it sounds. Um, <clears throat> but I picked Kurt Cobain because all the things that he put in his music, all the things that he went through, um, and just how vulnerable he was when he made music. Um, so I listen to Kurt Cobain when I'm sad or like I'm down because I connect with it. Uh, number two is Eminem, uh, and of course you guys know Eminem is my favorite rapper. But the reason I put him on this list um, is because I listen to like Till I Collapse when I'm pissed off. I listen to Beautiful when I'm sad. This guy just has songs for every emotion that you have, and, and like he has the ability to connect with you and say exactly what you need to hear to pick yourself up off the ground. It's crazy. And I usually listen to uh, Eminem when I'm pissed off. Like, I listen to Till I Collapse, or when I, when I feel like I can't write, I listen to Till I Collapse, and it kicks my ass in gear. Um, number three is Machine Gun Kelly, because in high school, like, I had the right friends. I still have the same friends that I did in high school, and I'm super happy about that. But even when you're around the right people, like, even when you're at a family gathering or something, like, you sometimes feel like you just don't fucking belong. And it's weird, right? I'm like, I'm sure I'm not the only person that's felt this. Like, it's, like, awkward to be around the people that love you the most sometimes. Very weird. But Machine Gun Kelly, uh, he had a terrible past as well, but he talks about being outcasted in school. And like I said, I had the right friends, but I still felt that I didn't belong there some days. And uh, just how open he is about his past, how much pain that he shares. Like, his dad was an alcoholic. Like, he never fit in. He always got into trouble. Girls always used to fuck with him. And, like, I, I, yeah, it's just, he had a terrible past. He, like, lost his daughter. Uh, his, his, his girlfriend at the time had an abortion, and they lost a kid. Like, there's a lot of fucked up shit he went through. But the reason I picked him is because he tells you so much real pain. Like... Dark Side of the Moon was the first song I'd ever listened to that had given me actual goosebumps up my arms. So I picked Machine Gun Kelly because he is so open. I connect him to somebody slitting their wrist because he just pours it all out. And then the last person on my list is Logic because he preaches peace, love, positivity. Like he's such a positive person and he had such a dark past growing up. Like his... His mom got beat by a guy. She sold drugs. His brothers were into drugs. Like there was one point where they got kicked out and they had to live in a janitor's closet. Like he had such a bad childhood. His dad was on drugs too. And just for him to turn around all that negativity in somebody's life, he could have easily been like, oh, fuck this. I'm shooting myself in the head or I'm going to do drugs too. You know what I mean? Like he could have easily gotten caught up in the life that is everybody around him lived. But he's like, I'm going to use my voice to do something positive. So if somebody else is stuck in a similar situation that I've been through, they can connect with me, which is awesome. So peace, love, and positivity. You got to love somebody that's spreading a positive message. I don't even understand how you can hate on that because he's just trying to make the world a better place. And he really is. He's a great guy. Great artist. So Kirk Cobain when I'm sad. Eminem when I'm pissed off. Machine Gun Kelly when I feel like I don't belong. And Logic when I want to be positive. These are the building blocks that make me who I am musically. And I was just, you know, wondering, like, Vision, Savage, Dan, Chloe. I mean, like, what, what makes you guys, um, what, who do you turn to? What makes you guys uh, feel something? Like, what music do you go to to create your own music? What inspires you? I think it's a cool thing to do to just break it down for people and let them see exactly what you do. Exactly who you are, exactly who have made you the MC that you are today, and these are the main people for me. So, if uh, Vision or Savage or whoever, uh, Dan Chloe, if you guys want to share, it, go ahead. I just thought it'd be a cool thing to break it down for you guys. So, I'm signing off. Remember, you're as real as it gets.